Welcome back to Inside Out. Well, Kestrom Industries is a cement company on our radar. To run you through a few basic details first, it's part of the BK Bidla Group, and it has a cement capacity of around 10.75 million tons. They also have their plants in Karnataka as well as in Telangana. Well, their units are vertically integrated. That is, it's backed by clinker. They have captive limestone mines and also captive thermal power as well. The mainstay of their business is cement, though they also have a rayon and chemicals unit, which is currently loss making. But the management has been guiding for some value unlocking by a demerger and possibly turning around it operationally. So let's focus on the core business. That's the cement business. They sell most of the cement that they produce in West, South and other parts of India. And over the past few years, the capacity utilization levels have been hovering around that 55 to around 70 percent odd. What supports them is valuations. On an EV per ton basis, they trade at nearly half the cost to set up a new cement plant. Well, investors have been hoping the company moves from survival to revival phase and ultimately thriving at least at some point of time. But where's the problem then? Well, the company is sitting on a debt of close to around 1800 crore rupees, bulk of which consists of NCDs from a Goldman Sachs consortium with a borrowing cost hovering around 19%. Well, the management has been indicating all options are on the table, from refinancing at a lower cost and also talking about raising equity that could give in lenders some kind of confidence. Well, talking about in equity, though, let's run you through the shareholding pattern. The promoter entity holds close to around 43% stake, but what stands out is Mr. Kumar Mangalam Birla has a large part of this promoter holding. So in case there is some kind of equity funding, well, then the street will be wondering whether or not he goes ahead and takes a larger stake in the company. Well, there is also some FII participation and the DIs, basically it's just banking names in there. But let's wind this down with the three big triggers that you should be tracking from here on. First up, will the asset be folded into Altitech Cement at a later date as consolidation in the sector broadly picks up? Next up, the management has been guiding for double-digit volume growth with a bit per ton of around 650 rupees per ton. Now achieving this is going to be key. And in the near term, all eyes will be on the refinancing of their existing debt to low teens in comparison to the high teens that they're currently borrowing at. Well, we've run out of time on this edition of Inside Out. It's goodbye from Sonal and myself. But do write to us and tell us about companies you want us to discuss and you want to hear about as well. We'll try to feature some of them on our show. Thanks so much for watching.